So today we're going to take a look at the World Cup application and we're going to start to look at how this application was built. The uh, app itself was covered in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, you might want to tune that in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this uh, down into multiple videos and we're going to just take bite-sized chunks so that we can understand exactly how this application was built. So I had this idea a couple of days ago and uh, thought it would be kind of neat to build an application that could consume um, some JSON data from a RESTful service that uh, might be tracking uh, World Cup uh, results and so on. Uh, I did a search and I found uh, an unofficial um, site and let's go take a look at that. And so that's the unofficial uh, World Cup API at Kimono Lab. So that's what we used. Uh, this was very nice because not only is there an API here, but there is a playground. So you can, you know, you can play with uh, the API and see what kind of results you, you know, you get. So in this particular situation, you know, we've made a restful call for the players, and we can see the JSON that's coming back. So we can see the uh, key and the value. And this is actually very straightforward JSON. No, notice there are no embedded objects here. It's just essentially a linear list of JSON, which makes it really, really easy to consume in an in, uh, alpha anywhere list control. And we're going to take a look at that. So uh, let's go take a look at how this component was built. So in this component, we've got... Uh, panel navigator that includes numerous panel cards and a panel layout with multiple panel cards. Uh, if you're not familiar with these terms, I suggest you take a look at some of the earlier videos that describe how to build essentially a panel interface for mobile. I'm not going to go into that level of detail in this presentation. I'm going to make an assumption that you know how to use the basics with Alpha Anywhere, you know how to put together a basic mobile application using uh, panel navigators and panel layouts and panel cards. So if you're not familiar with that, you might want to uh, stop right now and go ahead and get familiar with that before we move on. I don't want you to become overwhelmed here. You should also have a good understanding of what JSON is and uh, a good understanding of JavaScript in order to move forward here. So just a few caveats. I will try to cover as much as I can, but uh, I'm not going to go to uh, essentially a beginner or elementary level here. I'm going to make an assumption that you have a fairly good idea of, of, of what you're doing. So what we've got here is a, a list control embedded in a panel card, and this list control is going to display the team information. That's what you saw on the first screen. So we're going to start out by defining that list. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a list based on static data. So, you know, Alpha allows you to create these lists that can consume SQL data and, you know, results of a JavaScript function or an old DBF file or whatever. In our case, we want to populate this list with JSON data that we're going to acquire from a RESTful API call. So the first thing we need to do is really define essentially the data structure. So if we look in here, what I've done is I've defined all of the keys that are coming back uh, from the uh, RESTful API request. And, and so these are all the, uh, the JSON keys, uh, team ID, name, logo, et cetera. And we just specify those with the uh, a pipe in between. Uh, and there's an example up above here that says first name pipe, last name pipe city. Well, that we've done that here. And, and so by looking at the JSON, I can see what the keys are, and I've defined those here, okay? And uh, then from there, we can see the fields as they're defined in the data source. Um, on the list properties, I am going to use a detail view here, and I will go into that in my next video, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. And let's go look at the list layout. In the list layout, we can see I started with a predefined template. This is Alpha's templating language. 
And you can see within, so this is just HTML, and the HTML contains placeholders that are placeholders for the data. So for example, we see the logo right here. Um, we see, uh, let's see, we've got the name of the, of the uh, country right here. We've got uh, wins and losses and draws right over here. So this is very easy to understand. It's just a very simple uh, templating language. And, uh, and this is what, what describes each row in our list. So let's go back and just look at that again quickly so we can see. And so here we see our list displaying the data and each row in this list represents the template. So you can see we've got multiple rows and, uh, and filled in with different data. Now the question is, so how do we populate that list? So what we're gonna do is take a look at a client side event on the initialize complete event of this component, we're gonna call get World Cup teams. This is a function that I wrote, and let's go look at it. So go into our JavaScript functions. We'll go and do a quick search for get World Cup teams, and here it is. So get World Cup teams is really a very simple function here, and what this does is the first thing we do is bring up a spinner so that uh, there's a wait spinner so the user has some idea that we're making a call. Then I define a lookup URL and I pass in uh, an API key. So you're going to need your own API key uh, to communicate with the Kimono Labs uh, service. And then I ask it for essentially all of the teams and to sort them by the wins. And uh, from there, I just create an XHR request. I create an XHR get request. I do set a timeout. These are callbacks. And uh, this is the onload function. So this means we got data. Once we get the data, we turn the JSON text into a JavaScript object called underbar data. And then what we do is we pass that data to the list control object called teams. And it populates that list control with the JSON data that we pulled from the uh, RESTful API call. So this is all it really took to communicate to the Kimono Labs World Cup API, make a request, get the data, parse it, and then populate the list control with that information. And this is a pattern that we'll use throughout the application. So what I've covered very quickly in our first look at this component is how to define a, a simple list control that can consume JSON data, how to make a call to a RESTful API to get that data, and then how to populate the list control with that data. In our next video, we'll take a look at a detail view that has a list embedded within the panel card. And this list uh, represents the results of this particular team. Thanks.